Alright, for this question, we'll be multiplying and simplifying the result. So the deal is that we'll factor, 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 and then cancel, cancel, cancel whenever possible, right? So let's go ahead and look at this. 3p minus 3. Well, they both have the 3. So therefore, I can factor out 3, right? And the first term, we will have the p left. And then we have the minus. And the 3 was out right here, so we have a 1, right? So 3 times p minus 1. And for this p, well, it's just a p, so we cannot do anything. This right here is 3p squared. Okay, cannot do anything. But then for the 4p minus 4, similar to that, right? I can factor out a 4, and then we can get p minus 1. And you see that first, of course, the p minus 1, p minus 1 cancel each other out. But then 3 and 4, I cannot reduce anything, right? And for this 3 and that 3, they are both on the top. We cannot cancel them out. What else can we do? This p and this p squared. And if you would like, this is what it means by p squared. It means p times p, right? So this p right here is a factor, and we have this p down here. We can cancel them out, and we still have one p left. And the quicker way to do this is that we can just do 2 minus 1, subtract the powers, and you will end up with p to the first on the top as well. But overall, this is it. And let's see what's the final answer. On the top, we have this 3 times this 3 times p. 3 times 3 is 9, and then multiplying by p. So 9p then. Over on the bottom, we just have this 4 left, so we'll put on the 4. 9p over 4. That's it.